In your work with genomic data, have you run into these issues? You've had to wait in a queue so you could run your secondary analysis. You've had to wait for a primary analysis to complete, sometimes for a day or several days or even longer. Challenges like this have led Kelly Kermode and me, Lynn Langett, to make this course, AWS for Bioinformatics. We designed this course for working computational bioinformaticians who are going to come to it with differing levels of expertise in cloud technologies, and we know that. We've made this course modular, so you can skip to the sections that are of greatest interest for your research. In addition, we're encouraging cloud practitioners to join us supporting our computational bioinformaticians as they work on difficult challenges like cancer research and new COVID drugs. In addition, we've had a lot of students come along the way uh, in various stages in their education, whether they've been undergrad or grad students, who want to add the power of elastic cloud compute to their genomic activity. In any case, we have lots of information that we're going to share with you, and we're excited to bring you best practices using AWS for genomics. So let's get started. <music>